guys and welcome to another Scrawlerbox unboxing video. Um, my name is Nuria and uh, as always I'm really 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 excited about the supplies that are contained in this little box. Um, this is the October box and um, I'm kind of more excited than uh, the last times because Scrawler Box said on their Twitter account that this box will contain more art supplies than ever. So I'm really looking forward what's inside the box. And um, well, I think uh, we should just start and open it. So, ta 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 ta. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's really huge. Oh my gosh, it's so huge. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for a moment. And then, oh my gosh, the print. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside as well. Okay, so first of all, we have this beautiful print, which is a nice little cat. I guess with three eyes. Oh, the quality is perfect as always. And the featured artist is Marie Nilsson, aka Catbog. Ah, cool. I do know her from YouTube. I'm going to show you the social media links. Um, I'm also going to link you all the links <laughs> in the description down below. So please check this out if you want to know more about Catbog. And um, yeah, she is a cat-loving, self-taught artist from Sweden. And I think that she's a cat lover is really obvious. <laughs> but this is so cool. I really love her style and I do love this print so much. So thank you very much, Scrollerbox, for this opportunity to, to get a print of Catwalk. And I do hope I pronounced her name correctly. I'm not sure. We also got some paper, as always. I'm curious about which brand it is this time. It seems like a marker kind of paper, markerish paper, I don't know. We'll see that later. So, we are going to open this. I'm so excited. gosh, so many, so much stuff, so much stuff. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to pull one by one the things from the box. Okay, first of all, the scroller box sticker. This time is um, it is another one of the uh, name stickers, not the logo stickers. Then we have the card with all the supplies listed and also with the theme of this month and it is Happy Cat! The theme for the uh, October box is Happy Cat. That's awesome! Really cool! I'm really looking forward to do this challenge. I love cats. <laughs> okay, so this month we are exploring an alternative range of alcohol markers in a collection of autumnal colors to keep your purring like the Cheshire cat right through to winter. So freaking awesome. Okay, first of all we do have some Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Six markers. This is so incredible. And I don't know uh, the Spectrum Noir markers so I'm really excited to try these out. These are the ones that I got. I think it seems like that everyone got the same colors. At least it seems like it. Okay, so first of all we have a very... Um, they don't have... Oh, they don't have names, just, just the color numbers. So we have an EB2, which is kind of like a really, like a, um, 
sepia tone, so I think it should look like this on the paper. Then we have TB6, which is the blue, I guess, which you can see here. Then we have JG6, which is this color, I guess. It looks darker on the pencil than it looks, or it looks darker on the marker than uh, on the paper, I guess. Then we have an EB5, which should be this one, so the darker brownish tone. Then we have a BP6, which looks kinda um, lilac in my camera, but it truly is a pinkish rose tone, like this on the paper. But last but not least, we got a lilac, which looks blue in the camera, so sorry. It's LV3, so I think it's lilac or violet 3. And it should look like this color. So really awesome. So um, the paper I showed you before is um, the Canson Bristol paper with uh, 250 gram. And um, it's an extra smooth, strong, clean, white and exit free surface. Per perfect for using with markers, which I already guessed. So cool. Okay. Next thing is a candy. A blackjack uh, contains soya and it seems like it is a bubblegum candy. I'm not sure. I'm going to taste uh, this one later. But it seems like a bubblegum candy. So, on to the art supplies. Um, we also got a thick brushable two-tone brush pen, which is this one, in a very light lilac tone. Very, very nice lilac tone. Um, brush up on color, memory system, brushables, pigment ink. And you also got two brushes, so you have this tip, the brush tip, and you have another brush tip. Oh, okay. And this this is how it looks. Are they the same size or? Yes, they are. Oh, and no, <laughs> I didn't see that first. So this is the richer color and this is a much lighter version of the same color. This is so cool. I don't know these uh, brushes yet. Oh, and they from Kuritake again. I love it. Uh, it is number 081 Hyacint. Nice. Really love it. Okay, uh, oh, and the Spectrum Noir markers have one tip that is a normal nib tip. And I guess they also have this, yeah, the um, white tip, like the normal Copic markers. So cool. Okay. We also got a Stedtler 308 pigment liner pen in 0 0.3. Mine is in 0 0.5, as you can see here. Um, 18, 80 hours cap off. Oh, okay, so cool. Um, waterproof on paper, light fast. And it seems like you can leave the cap off for 18 hours and the ink will not dry out. So this is very cool. I really like it. I think it would have been better if the liner was in 0 0.3 and not 0 0.5 to get a little bit of a thinner line. but. That's okay anyways. And we also got a Stedtler Mars Lumograph pencil in 2H. That is this one. 
I do know the Stedler pencils, but I don't know the Mars Lunograph. So I'm very looking forward to try these out. It's a normal pencil. Uh, 2H is normally not the um, not the pencil strength I normally use. I normally use an HB or a 2B. I do like the um, pigments a little bit softer, but nevertheless, it's very cool that this one's actually in the box too. And at next. And last but not least, we have something that I've never seen before. So, it's the Stedtler Mars Razor Eraser Pencil. And on the and on one side, you have this little eraser side. And on the other side, there's, there's a... Um, oh my gosh, what's the word? There's a brush. A brush. I guess so you can erase and then brush it away. This is very cool. I've never seen that before. That's so cool. It's really cool. It's also a Stedtler Mars Razor. So this is the brand. And I really like it. It's so awesome. And oh my god. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 art supplies with paper in one scroller box. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So we never had this many items in a scroller box before. And I'm really, really looking forward to try these things out. And I'm really happy that I got this beautiful print. I love it. I really do. And yes, so this was the unboxing and I think we should go straight to... No, this looks... doesn't look good, so that's better. And I think um, I'm going to do the challenge right now, so... Thank you very much for watching this unboxing and um, have fun with the speed paint! <laughs>
So guys, this is it. That's the finished illustration for the October scroller box called Happy Cat. The challenge is done and I'm really, really, really happy with the result. Um, the colors I got were kind of hard to well, it was kind of hard for me to pick the right colors for the illustration because I um, had an image in my mind. I wanted to draw a little cat in a box because I think the happiest cats are cats in boxes. So <laughs> um, I had to choose the colors wisely because um, we got so much bright and um, uh, vibrant colors and only one light color, so this one. And um, I wanted the box to be very bold and the cat to be a little bit softer, so um, that's why I chose the lighter color for the cat. And um, I really do like these Spectrum Noir markers. They're really, really good to work with. Um, kind of like the Copic markers. Uh, and the colors are very very vibrant and very rich and I really do like that. Um, I also do love this brush pen from Zig, but I don't really like that um, I don't really like the texture of the brush once you um, paint it on the paper because it um, get a little bit messy after two layers so um, I guess this is just something for kind of like smaller um, areas but uh, nevertheless a really really cool new option and I also do like these uh, pigment liner from Stettler those are very very nice to line with because um, it's very smooth and um, the pigments are really great and it's also um, waterproof so this that's very very good I could also use that for my watercolor illustration so yeah um, this was a very very nice box for me and uh, I do hope you enjoyed this little speed paint and um, Thank you very very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and um, well, uh, I wish you all a happy day, have a nice week and yeah, see you in the next video, bye bye!